Type Soul is coming back to Roblox. Yes, the game I spent over 500 pounds on. Nope. Not US dollars, I mean GBP. That's significantly more than the US dollar. Yes, the game I literally didn't sleep for over 48 hours in order to grind the ranked method no. for Bankai. Unequaled, unrivaled, go make me proud, little bro. Thank the f***ing lord. Go, go, I'm gonna kill Let's myself. Let's go! It's not even funny for this sh all right, let's get you to to be and uh, so I can go to fucking bed, dude. And almost got reset because a mod thought we were hacking in game. Yes, the game that is full of corrupt mods and CC boosted spec using players that still managed to lose to random players who just progress normally. Yes, the game where the old developers managed to scam everybody with false percentages in order to make people spend more money on what was already insane prices. I mean, really? Come on, 800 robots for one reroll? Why the fu- I digress. But seriously, Roblox anime Bleach games are not that great, in general, in my opinion. And this Bleach game came out of nowhere to give us almost three months of no lifing, bucket pooping, fun. Type Soul was fun. And when I first thought, saw this game, I genuinely didn't think much of it. However, when the game actually came out and I got in the game and gave it a try, my mind was changed pretty quick and I was surprised. Type Soul saved last summer for me. Revolve! Revolver, revolver! What did Time Soul do that other games didn't do? Well, it had fun PvP, and honestly, that's about it. The game's PvP was fun. It was satisfying once you finally got your Bankai, and once you finally got your Sheik guy, once you got Vasto, Visored, whatever the case may be, it was satisfying. I mean, there were other aspects of the game that was kind of all right you had gladiator mode you had that butterfly game mode the raid one with the butterfly you die with the butterfly it disappears and then you die again and you're out and you had like the clan wars 1v1 in the sky those are like the only three good game modes in my opinion the rest of them kind of crud capture the flag crud conquest crud cat crud town crud but gladiator and the butterfly and clan wars was actually decent they were fun game modes anyways that's all around Relevant. Let's stop talking about the past and move on to the facts that are leading to Type Souls revival. And for that, we need to go inside of Type Souls Discord. So. Let's go. And in here, it reads that a new developer from Type Memma, which is a I said Memma, Menma which is a type soul copy and i hated type soul copies i didn't play a single one of them i didn't even play the type soul battlegrounds game that popped off regardless it's a type soul copy um and it's known for its creativity and consistent update schedule now i know nothing about that because i didn't play the game but gg and he's now a developer for type soul so i'm assuming he's gonna bring on his consistent update schedule along with whatever made type men more popular in order to help revive and bring back type soul they must have hired him for a lot of money by the way i won't be boring you with a long paragraph all i need to say is games currently closed but will reopen with constant active updates let's make type soul great again okay and then he said uh this will not be undergoing a data wipe that is completely off off the table okay that's interesting i mean i'm very sure the whole player base would be mad if the advisor that some people paid a thousand dollars two thousand dollars for just ended up getting wiped completely so it makes sense that it's not getting wiped coming back to type soul assuming it's gonna feel and look and play like a new game with already existing progress characters may take the fun out of it just a little bit but we'll we'll see roles such as captain sir i don't really care about what i uh i'm aware they don't play probably for a good reason I already lived out their time however the events in game to obtain titles uh don't really care about any of those unless it's like you know not like cc stuff like map people can actually play and get to that stuff appreciate the support okay I don't like setting dates and deadlines, however, at the rate things are going. Later, especially in the end of the month. Oh, end of March. Okay, so we're most likely going to get the game end of March time or probably early April, which is super interesting. I'm not going to lie. It gives the devs a bit of time to work and prepare. What I will say is 
this is one of those things where the developers need to take their time and i'm only saying that because people didn't only quit type soul because of the scamming stuff and blah 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 it's just that there's nothing else to do every content expansion consisted of us spending more money to get obscenely low rates and that was it it was never more content apart from like some clothings there was never new content in terms of things for us to actually do there's no pve doesn't exist in the game so there was never it, it would probably be a vague trash new pvp mode or something to do with clan wars etc even clan wars itself is kind of kind of flawed so type soul is gonna need a lot to to not only bring people who once played back but to keep people that once played coming back and and new bring in new players as well I'm gonna need a pve expansion probably probably most definitely a complete revamp of progression because nobody wants to wait for in-game hours in order to do the quest they need to do in order to rank up that's not my idea of fun gameplay um type soul managed to make it somewhat worth <laughs> It was kind of worth it to a certain extent, but there's a lot of things that need re revisions and need to be redone. Doing a hundred and a hundred plus ranked wins in oh my gosh, a lot of things need to be redone, bro. If, if you genuinely want people not only just coming back to check out the game, but to stay back and make things cheaper, and then um, there's gonna be an unbanned wave and there's some sort of form. I actually want to check this out. Type soul feedback. Okay. Previous responses. Oh, okay. So about 5,000 people took part in this. What do you think the game needs the most? And everybody voted here. Da, 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 da. More PVE content. Thank the Lord. The, the player base is, is, is actually using their brains here. We definitely need more PVE content. Let's be so real. Skill boxes. Probably some more. End game progression this end game content in general so end game progression doesn't mean uh try get a seg segunda segunda is trash and it's not even worth it let's be so real yeah, segunda was terrible and even to fill up your segunda but you gotta fight someone else in the bankai or or whatever mode yeah no and then segunda lasts for like less than 60 seconds no no trash that's not end game we need actual end game content and some sort of end game progression to play the game for maybe yeah you know more 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 clothing more equips more drops things of that nature more weapons etc uh skill trees maybe i don't really know too much about bleach so i wouldn't know expansions of skill trees yeah maybe just to like diversify builds and things of that nature new weapons for sure uh, and not just weapons you can roll using boxes maybe like within drops there's like a legendary uh soul reaper legendary aranka weapon drop and there's like a variety of weapons in there for certain builds and if you get the right weapon it can cater towards your build it's like an expansion of it and if it doesn't really work with your build you can trade it you can trade it and you know it would have value things like that you know um not just things you get at the start of the game but you know a lot of progression rpg games people enjoy getting new variations of weapons you want to progress and get your player stronger i hate games where i'm using the same weapon from the start to the end of my my playthrough i want to be able to upgrade it change it maybe even put enchants on it etc uh new raid game modes for sure new mode like Segunda, Segunda was trash, but maybe rework Segunda and add new forms, yes. Reworked progression, for sure. So the two most important for me, or the five, the three actually, is PvE content, end game progression content, and reworked progression, for sure. All of the other stuff are important, but I feel like these three are essential, and then maybe later on we can work on having new, new awakenings, new weapons, please, new weapons end game weapons things you only get once you're like that max elite rank like there's definitely legendary weapons within the bleach verse or whatever like just i don't know M more weapons bro uh what part of progression do you like dislike the most <laughs> 
Bro, clan, yes, raids. Raids for, for progression. Clan Wars did make it easier to, to farm stuff, but um, yeah, raids for progression. Like you can still have raids tied to progression in some way, shape or form, but we not, you need to do 150 raid wins in order. Yeah, no, dead, that's so dead. That's so dead. And I actually did that so many, I did it like three or four times in a row. Yeah, no, that's so crazy. Uh, what faction did you play the most? Uh, Aranka. I was, I was definitely my, I was definitely Shinigami. My, my true Vasta Lorde account is locked. I need to get that back, bro. Uh, what faction needs more content? Definitely Quincy, but we don't care about Quincy's skill trees. I don't really care about the skill tree stuff either. Uh, if you could add one thing, what would it be? Uh, we can't see what people voted for. Full bringer, full bringers, bro. What? That's all the same thing. I'm not gonna lie, full bringers, bro. Definitely full bringers. Full bringers, bring bring in hell. Just bring in more content, you know. Uh, Shinigami questions. What Shikai is the best? Wait, damn. People put Blood Shikai the best. Blood Shikai was Blood Shikai the best. Blood Shikai was crazy, wasn't it? Healing and some more stuff. Beating a good blood user was almost impossible. A flower OP, yep, yep, yep. Ice, ice was pretty crazy. Lightning Shikai is up there too. It's really just these three, blood, flower, and ice. They they were powerhouses, let's be so real. Wait, I ain't gonna lie, Confusion, Confusion was really good too. War was really good too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, what she guys the worst? Damn, creation. Of course, creation was there. Confusion was bad. Confusion was good. I beat hella people. I beat ice users up with confusion. Come on now, bro. Uh, wind, wind is terrible. Berserk's terrible too. What she guy weapons the best? Obviously, dagger, longsword is gonna be up there. I don't really care about anything if it wasn't uh dagger, dagger, longsword. To be honest, longsword's crits kind of mid now. Uh, what she got weapon is the worst twin blade. Twin blade's terrible. Hammers, wait, people liked hammer more than twin blade. Hammer was way worse than twin blade. Let's be so real. No, let's be so real. Scythe was asked too. Uh, what section is Shin uh, of Shinigami is the weakest? Oh, oh, I mean, this is obvious, right? This is how it's meant to be. This is a stupid question. Base is obviously meant to be weaker than uh, Shikai and Bankai. What? Stupid. Stupid question. Oh, uh, what res is the best? Vampire. Oh, vampire is a powerhouse in that bit. What res is the worst? Da -da -da. Acid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acid was mid. Bone. Bone was actually pretty strong. I ain't gonna lie. Bone was pretty strong. A shark was broken in terms of like it was actually like glitched as heck. What hollow box weapon? Don't care. Why is it scrolling up? That's so weird. Uh, what hollow box weapon? Don't care. Section of Aranka is the weakest. Partial res was was so mid, bro. Partial res was so mid. Uh, uh da, da, da. we don't really care about. About Quincy's, let's be so real. Obviously, Miracle and Fear were like top tier and then everything else. Oh yeah, Visionary. I stopped playing around that time, so I don't really know how great Visionary was, to be honest with you. Spirit Box Weapon, section of Quincy's the weakest. Okay, so that's honestly about it. This part of the video dragged out. If you made it to the end, let me know. Let me let me know what you guys think of Type Soul coming back. It's actually pretty interesting. I'm super interested in, in the future of Type Soul. Is it just gonna come back and just be the same game or are we actually gonna get some improvements? Well, we're gonna have to wait and see, but I'm super interested and hopefully it can carry the summer again because from the looks of it, we're not eating, bro. We are not eating.